KNOC Hard Rockology Show. Heaven Below there. That's Fallen from Zero. And before that, we heard My Undoing. Guys, welcome again to the Hard Rockology Show. Thanks for having us, guys. Thank you. All right. For the end of the world. Yeah, yeah it's like the end of the world acoustic show right yeah. now. <laughs> so what songs are we going to be playing right now, you think? I guess it's acoustic. we got to do Daylight Dies, you know. Okay. I'm not tired of it yet. So. No, I'm not tired of listening <laughs> yeah. to it either. So, All right, so this is uh, Heaven Below. Daylight Dies on the Hard Rockology Show. Enjoy. Still I count the days and nights Since I survived This lonely abyss is the place that I've learned to hide But the memories conflict with the story I keep in my mind Then reality comes over me Like darkness to blame Thank you. The end of the 
a world apocalypse song. Daylight Dies, <laughs> Heaven Below, on the Hard Rockology show. I mean, want to hear that song? I think of like a vampire movie or something, you know? That's Do what you? He says, the end, yeah. yeah, the end of the world, you know, the vampire's taken over. These yeah. vampires suck beer, though. These yeah, are that's, different. Different. <laughs> that's a that's a great song, man. I mean, I, I mean, I I heard that song. I, I've been listening to your your music now for the past couple weeks now, and 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 that's like a go to track. You just go back to that track, and oh, it just you. sounds phenomenal. Thank you. And it's like, and this is one of the things I always say: if I'm listening to music, if it doesn't move me, if it doesn't stir any kind of emotion in me. I'm not going to listen to it. So here, it, it's got to do something for me, and that track definitely does something for well, me. Well, it's like. It's like how important are the lyrics in music? I mean, they're very important, and, and a lot of times you find yourself listening to music and you don't even care what the lyrics are, but with your music, you want to know what the lyrics are, and then you get the music and everything else going on with it. And I never had that big of appreciation for lyrics. I always have, and I, I wrote a little bit in my old bands. I would always write music and a little bit of lyrics, but with Heaven Below, as soon as I got the mic in my hands, I uh, I felt like man I better I better have some cool shit to tell people I felt like uh, n not conscious in a bad way I was like I better tell a fucking story that that feels the way that I feel when I hear good lyrics and the pressure is on when you're a vocalist in a rock band you know it can't be no Def Leppard love me like a bomb lyrics that shit ain't gonna work no I don't I don't think so either but I mean yeah. like what what Matt said and, and what I'm saying is is like it's it's like you listen to the song and you're like okay I'm listening to the lyrics this time. And then I'm listening to the music the next time, and you keep going back and back and back, and you don't get tired of the song because oh, there's always like a different meaning or whatever. Maybe it's something that you missed or or whatever. Hell but yeah. wonderful song, wonderful Thank song. You. Like I said, I always thought music is the true emotional medium that that just moves people. I mean, I listen to a lot of classical music as well, and and you just listen to that stuff, and 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 when it moves you and it puts you in a mood or whatever it is, or lifts you up when you're down, or you know, it just gets you in that place that you need to be. You've done what you needed to do as an artist. That's how so. I feel when I listen to it. Yeah, I put on Alice in Chains Unplugged and, yeah. you know, I light a candle, you know. I don't smoke much weed, but, you know, maybe you got to smoke some weed and listen to that Unplugged album. And hell yeah, Lane Staley was yeah. on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah exactly. You want <laughs> to know what was going on behind the scenes with that. But, I mean, it's just amazing that, that certain bands just come up with... with uh, Certain material or that's that's phenomenal and and all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and then they come to the table and they bring this and it's like wonderful, but I mean with you guys I, I hear a lot of different influences, but it's all it's just in the background it's not up front like you hear some bands that want to sound like Guns and Roses yeah. or uh, Poison or whatever you know but we try I mean, to mix our soup up <clears throat> in our own little exactly. way you know like, I love all these old bands lately like I never was into Thin Lizzy when I was younger oh really because I, I I noticed uh, they're amazing I had no idea when they're I saw awesome. the song last night that that uh, on on Reverb Nation Hollywood you had on yeah. there I thought it was a cover of the Thin Lizzy song because you mentioned that yeah. then it wasn't it was and I was like it was off a, Lizzy. It, <laughs> but it was still it was still a cool song you heard the song right yeah i've heard the yeah, song yeah it was it was a cool song i, I mean, love lizzie dude cold sweat that's an awesome song yeah. i think john sykes was on it. yeah that was on the uh the um thunder and lightning record the I last one they did oh okay i saw the lizzie open for priest and i knew the songs but i know it wasn't phil yeah original guy. And they did sound good but man phil was ahead of his time yeah yeah very much so very much so and and it's and I I rediscovered Thin Lizzy too a couple of years back and I went through all the albums listened to all the songs and the thing about Thin Lizzy that's really cool is they're they're heavy and then they're not heavy yeah it's like they have pop songs on there then they have like heavy hard rock songs and then it's oh, yeah. it's just interesting what well, you guys have been saying this is uh, just being the new member I can kind of uh, express the same kind of the the feeling. Uh, you can hear the influences going on, and at the same time, that's not all that they're drawing from. One of the things that really kind of captured me about this band and, and Patrick as a writer and what they're doing uh, was clearly their soul is being expressed, their artistry. Of course, it's influenced by the things that they've grown up with and what they've done, but it's not copying, it's not mimic mimicking. Uh, one of the unless it's Thin Lizzy, unless it's Thin Lizzy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, uh, wait, well, one of the things I love the most about yeah. these guys, and it, that I was like really kind of locked, locked onto. Well, yeah, you can see, you can hear that in the music because yes, you can. You can it's not you're not just singing about a girl or this or that. You're really singing about it, and the way you, yes. you the way your voice projects the different tones or whatever you're singing about it. it you can feel that the motion coming through as you're listening you. to it, just, which I is I the most Lane important Singer, thing. You know? I love Lane Staley. I love Halford, Bruce Dickinson, and. You know, all that stuff. Those guys are just amazing. Yeah. If I could even be a fifth of what that alchemy is, 
um, I'll be happy. Someday soon. I know. I know. Part of it, I know part of it's <laughs> beer. This part beer of it is doing has it. to be beer, right? Yeah. Alcohol is definitely a part of it. Uh, and getting the word to the ma- and getting the word to the masses. Yes. No, you know? that's that's huge. Which yeah. makes opportunities like this really really big for us. And, you know. Well, we're, try, we're trying. We're trying to. Of what you guys are doing as you are expressing for what oh, yeah. we are doing. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, the unique thing about together. this this genre of music: hard rock, heavy metal classic rock, whatever you want to call it, I think it's all encompassing, mm-hmm. speed metal and stuff, is like my brother said, is there's so much music out there in the genre that uh, he more recently went back and re-explored the Thin Lizzy catalog, which it sounds like you're doing as well. And that's something about this particular genre of music. It's, it's, it's gone through the generations of time, and, and you could go back and re-explore stuff. And, and find stuff that you haven't heard before. Oh, yeah. There's always yeah. so much stuff there. So yeah. much, yeah. Well, we had a kind of an interesting experience watching this happen with the band that we just opened with, uh, Queensryche. Opening for Queensryche, yeah. watching them go through, you know, their turbulent times, changing singers up and that. And we got to open for them at the House of Blues up on Sunset with uh, their new singer, Todd He's Latour. amazing. And amazing. having them bring back, song, you know, even this band who has reached this kind of epic status, even they are going back and going back into their original catalog, doing things from their EP the and, their, and the warning yeah, and Rage awesome. for Order. And I mean, the people responded, the crowd was just amazing the way they responded to it. It seems like there's something in the air with this, okay, let's revisit these things, but instead of going back and copying. Let's find out what was in there that we maybe didn't see the first time. Yeah. You know, there's there's like more to it now and it, it's a uh, it's kind of a liberating experience in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do another song here, guys? Yeah, let's do another one. All right. Let's do one off the cuff. Uh, we haven't rehearsed anything, so this is the rehearsal. This is the rehearsal. Yeah. We're picking it up as we go here. Oh, actually, let's do a uh, I didn't bring a pick. I'm doing all, I'm doing actual fingers. Can wow, you do that? man. Let's do right. um, let's Sweet. do the takeover because it's hard to play acoustic. We'll, we'll, mm. We've done Ace of Spades acoustic and stuff like that just to see if we can. Okay. And sometimes it comes out good. Sometimes it sucks. <laughs> so let's see which, which time this is how the takeover comes. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be like. Um... <laughs>
OC, Hard Rockology Show, Heaven Below, in the studio. Sounds good. Sounds really right. good. I didn't know how to end that. I was like, I'm just going to end I was that. Like, where are we going to go with this? <laughs> yeah, I wonder how this will work. <laughs> you guys are just practicing, right? Yeah, it's yeah. practice. There it is. Yeah, I, can't yeah. E- I can't even imagine the, re- the, real, the real way it's supposed to go, but excellent, excellent. Well, you want to play a couple other tracks, and we'll come back in and do a little bit more of the interview? Okay, yeah, so let's play a couple well, more songs and then we'll... Oh, actually, uh, I got a track in there I want to play. It's uh, Heart Rage is On. You probably know this track, don't you? Wow. You threw me off by even... I, my brain, like, skipped. Yeah. Uh, that's not the song that was at the top. <laughs> no, I, take that song down. I want the Heart Rage is On. That's the band that turned into Heaven Below. Exactly. That's what I, I wanted to ask you about real quick. And and uh, I want to... You got it in there, Jason? I do. Okay, I, I, I want to go ahead and play this track. And then when we come back around on the other side, I want to ask you a little bit about this. And, and let's start from the beginning of where Heaven's, Heaven Below came from and, and where you guys started and where you guys are going. Absolutely. All right? Sounds good, man. Yeah. All right? Cool. So we'll be right back around the corner. All right. I like it. You curveball. I like that. I like it. <laughs> 